Hey there, Aries couples, and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. So this is going to be for the Aries couple, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is your reading from the second week of September throughout the third week of September, okay? So I want you to keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, so everything is not guaranteed to resonate with you. Some, for some of you, it may not resonate at all because it is just a general reading. Now, if you find that that is the case, that it doesn't resonate at all, I invite you to take a look at the readings for your sun, moon rising, and your Venus signs. If you'd like to book a personal reading, as these are only general, you can book via my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Let's get right into it. Okay, and do I need to say it? I think I do. This can go this can go vice versa. Oh my goodness, I get so many comments saying, oh, but it was vice versa. This is what I'm telling you, it can go vice versa. Come on, guys. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Aries. Couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Second week of September to the third week. Here we go. You're sad, Aries. You're feeling hurt about what's going on in your relationship right now. But don't fret. You can work this out. So that's what you were worried about. I'm here to tell you and give you some encouragement that this is this is workable, okay? There's a potential here, but right now you're feeling like you're done. You are so done and you are over this. It could even be with a work situation where you're just so frustrated. And you're ready to give up and walk away. Yep, so I do sense that there's some distance between the two of you. And this could have been something you guys are ignoring each other. And this could have been happening for a while. You know, it, you know this has been playing out for a little bit. A, bit, a little bit longer than you had anticipated or that was even really necessary in some cases. I do see um, you feeling stuck. You'd be feeling stuck in a job as well. And some of you are afraid. This could be you or your cross watcher that feels afraid that this is over. Mm. That it's done. But like I said, that could even be the case with your job. So I'm saying things are about to get real. Some type of reality check. Reality sets in in a situation, okay? Maybe it's time to go to school. Maybe that's the reality check. You're feeling like you're tired of feeling stuck and you feel like you, you have no other way out of this but to go finally follow that dream or follow that nudging within your heart that says, hey, I should go back to school so I can have more options. Okay, so this is the thing. <laughs> this is why you're not talking to this person, Aries, to this person, like there's some mysterious person. Well, it doesn't have to be a love relationship that this is about. It could be a platonic love. It could be family situation. And like I said already, it could be work. But I feel like you feel as though someone's lying and you want them to apologize. And you're saying, I'm not going to really budge until you do what you know you're supposed to do which is apologize to me about what you know you did wrong that type of thing because i'm seeing pointing fingers at one another no you're to blame no you're to blame that type of thing so the blame game so don't do anything hasty because you're thinking about it don't act on haste don't act on emotion See, Aries, that's like your, your nature, right? To, you know, stereotypically, Aries, you guys can be a bit hot-tempered and pretty emotional when it comes to things that become very heated. Okay, so that, that could possibly be your energy. Though. So here's the reality check. There's love triangle, third-party situation. You love this. So the cards are saying you love this person. Uh, 
now the love triangle does not necessarily mean that this person at your love interest has stepped out on you and cheated on you though it could be because it's a general reading but this could also mean that there's a third party interference and influence of a third party someone that's trying to come between the two of you and divide you well maybe you found out that your partner was talking to this person online this was similar to another reading that i did maybe scorpio okay it could be a scorpio that you're dealing with for some of you this is a twin flame relationship you have a family, obviously. You have a union. You really have you have an established relationship. This isn't really something that was intended to be fly by night. This wasn't a fling. Okay. You're a real full-fledged couple and you have the intention of being together forever. However, you got someone with a roaming eye. They've got a ten, right? on their arm, but they're still looking around for something else. So you might find out that this person is flirting online, Aries. When you're dealing with someone that you feel is non-committal, maybe they had issues with infidelity in the past, and this is still something that you're dealing with, right? Someone who's foolish, carefree, wasn't really serious about this relationship, and now, because of past issues, it looks like it's all come to the surface again. Because of past issues, they could sneeze the wrong way. And you would think that they're doing something wrong. And in some cases, your inner voice is telling you that this person is doing something wrong. I do see some of you Aries could be traveling. But right now, there's nothing really going on between the two of you. So maybe this travel is about spending time apart. Let's see what's really going on. Let's get some details here. Okay, trouble in paradise. Aries couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, there could be an Aquarius in the picture. But for some of you, kind of losing hope that your relationship can ever really get off the ground because of past issues. You're losing hope that this can really be salvaged. You're feeling like you're at the point of no return and you're thinking about separating and severing the ties in the relationship. So you're not happy at this time with your partner. So you decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and focus on my money, my finances, I'm gonna focus on my job. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking to this person, right? Your focus is no longer your partner. Your focus is your money, your bank account, and your family, your child, your children, your responsibilities. Maybe there was an ultimatum here to block someone on social media. Or maybe you found out that your partner did block the third party because they were trying to intervene, interfere with the relationship. Now, as it pertains to a third-party relationship, which could be ongoing now or something of the past, I'm seeing guilt, regret about past BS that happened in the relationship. I feel like you're putting in a lot of work and sacrifice and effort. For some of you, you're putting in this effort into a business. For others of you, obviously, we're talking about the relationship that you have. And now you're waiting for things to grow and move forward between the two of you. And this is where you are. You're at that stage in your relationship where you're waiting for things to flourish, right? And for things to just fall into place. But this situation completely like displaced everything and just threw everything up in the air. So now there's a lot of confusion. And it has you feeling like, I'm sorry, you know I'm a Gemini rising. Geminis move their hands a lot. So I'm trying to work on that. Um, 
Yeah. Now, I do see, like I said in the beginning, yeah, you're going through a rough patch, but you have the ability to work it out. Because I'm seeing whatever this strife has been about, there I go again. You have the ability to um, resolve these issues. And I feel like this is what you're hoping to do. Aries. You're hoping to iron out these issues. Now, there could have been some pretty intense words that were said. But it's also about not just someone's words, but their actions that hurt you. Or maybe you feel like this is this could have been the blow that was dealt to you, right? Aries, I see a Taurus here for some of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right now, at this time, Aries, you're not feeling like you're willing to give this another second. You're not willing to give this another chance. You feel like you've given this as much as you possibly can. And... Mm, See, here it is. Look at these three, these five cards right here tell the story. Look at the two of you looking at one another. So, yeah, your backs were turned at one time. But now you're facing one another. You're facing the truth. You're talking about things. You're communicating about the issues. Not just sweeping them under the rug and saying, you know what, I'm not going to talk to you. I suspect that you're doing something that you, you've you always done in the past. So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to talk to you. But look at this, nine of cups, three of cups, six of cups. And then all these cups, emotion. So there's still a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings here. But these emotions are what you're operating on. Just confirmation of what I said in the beginning. Don't make emotional decisions. But this is th this fares well in the end because I'm seeing, yes, you do communicate with one another. I do see an apology. Communication happening and then coming back together. getting Becoming happy again together. And with the Knight of Cups, right, you're slow to do this. This is a slow process, okay? So like I said, there could be a passage of time time lapse in between when this does happen when the two of you do come back together but i do see it coming together okay merging there i go again merging back together right but anyway nine of knight of cups your knight in shining armor the person that you absolutely love okay they come toward you so there's warmth again there's emotion restored into the relationship when when back here i mean it's like you're trying to avoid your emotion and this was due to deception, someone's lies, someone being very flirtatious and acting like they, they're not in a relationship. But see, you got the Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this does fare well in the end. There's a fire sign here for some of you in Aries. This could be you, Aries, or another fire sign, Le um, Leo or Sagittarius. This could even be part of you know in your chart. If you have Leo or Sag in your own chart, Aries. Yeah, but you're not saying eye to eye on things, arguing, um, wanting your own way. You going one way, they going the other. But I do see where you release yourself from this strife and this disappointment and this sadness, right? Whatever this is that's tearing the two of you apart. You're able to work this out. But this is the thing. You're ready to cut this person out of your life because maybe you suspect that there's something going on behind the scenes that they're talking to somebody else. And in some cases, that is the, that is what's going on. Okay? They have multiple people. But because we're talking about the past, like I said, this could be past issues bubbling up. You don't trust them because of the actions they took in the past because they were someone that had a roaming eye or could be someone that still does. Aries, no place like home. So issues surrounding the home, okay? Um, comfort, you could be relocating some of you see this this is why this is someone that left you for someone else 
Okay, so I'm seeing, yeah, that, that's the pattern here, one of the patterns here. This person left you for someone else, and, you know, that's what maybe you're suspecting. So you're kind of pulling away from them. But really and truthfully, this is someone that's loyal to you. Or it's coming to reestablish loyalty to you after whatever these past indiscretions were. But see, in the end, the two of you get back to a place of peace and harmony. So again, it, it has the potential to work out. But yeah, see, it's the never-ending story. Right, something happened here again, heartbreak over and over again. This person hurt you over and over, and now you need some space. And for some of you, you may there may be a need to really get some sleep. You could be traveling a lot. Or staying up and worrying about things that you have the power to change, but you know, given the circumstances, this is just how you're feeling. Mm, what is this? Apologize. That's what I said in the beginning. Someone needs to apologize because you feel like they're lying about something. Make a wish. See, you definitely still love one another. Okay, you're, you're, you're praying for one another from a distance. Good shielding. See, you want this person in your life, but you're protecting your heart because they've hurt you in the past. So, in just a moment, we're going to take a look at the energy of your cross-watcher, okay? Expression. So, someone does come forward to express themselves, either you or them. Afraid to allow love in, but it looks like you ultimately do. Archangel Michael. So, there is some type of spiritual lesson here. You are divinely protected, okay? So angels are protecting you, looking out for you. And you are safe because they, your angels are watching over you. But also, you're safe in this love relationship. But you don't feel like you are, like I said, because they've hurt you in the past again and again by leaving you and being with someone else when their place was with you to begin with. One quick second. Mutual energy, please. Holy Spirit of the Cross Watcher for Aries couples. Triggers. Okay. Emotional triggers. But I also feel like the sound, like if this person, if your love interest happens to mention the name of this person, that you're dealing with, that's a trigger. But there's also some type of trigger here due to unhealthy situations. Something triggered this, and it's obviously a third party. You have strength here. Could be a Leo. I think I said that. Did I say that already? But it looks like you have the strength to be able to overcome whatever these adversities are. Holy Spirit, show me the energy of the cross watcher. Here we go. Page of Swords. Okay, so this could be an air sign that we're talking about, possibly, maybe, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that we're talking about. I did mention Aquarius earlier. Now we have Libra and Gemini in the mix. All right, what do we have here? The devil. We got Capricorn. I'm saying, yeah, you're a cross-watcher. They don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to them. You're ignoring one another. Okay, control. You want control. You feel like you have power over this person by not talking to them. You feel like this is, um, yeah, you holding the power in the situation. Control, manipulation. Someone feels manipulated in the situation. You're waiting and they're waiting for an apology. Okay, but... Yeah, your cross watcher is hurt. They're, they're wounded. There's definitely trust issues between the two of you. Okay, but th this is the thing. Regardless of this, okay, you both come up as the, you're the emperor and the empress. So there's definitely um, a lot of power together. Okay, you have power, they have power. But when you come together, oh my gosh, you, you're a power couple. 
But look at how they're looking in separate directions. So you're ignoring one another, but you have so much power and um, together. You both have a ribbon here in your hand, so I feel like <sighs> this could mean so many things. Some emotional manipulation. Being tied to one another. Mm, okay, so if you shift the cards, you're looking toward one another. Oh, look at that. See how the moon in the background or the sun comes together. So this is how this was meant to be. So I feel like the two of you, Aries, you weren't meant to be apart. You were meant to be together. That's where your true power is, toward one another. So whatever this is that have you looking away from one another, like I said in the beginning, you have the power to come back together and resolve these issues. So I don't feel like it's over. You're just going through a tough period. Okay, your, your cross watcher, they're kind of losing hope in this relationship, losing faith in the connection that the two of you share. But see, there's a higher power here that's keeping the two of you together. You'd be better off together than apart is what I'm hearing. Yeah, so I do see that there's a coming together after this conflict. You're, too, you're able to find um, a mutual ground and you're able to get back to commitment and get back to happier times. But right now, your love interest, they don't know where they stand. Your, your cross watcher, they don't know where they stand. Okay, they feel like you're juggling. They're tired of the back and forth of things. They want things to be solid and consistent between the two of you. And like I said, you have the ability to do that. So I do see a reconciliation here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull an advice card, right? Ah, Holy Spirit, let's see. Holy Spirit, what is the advice here? Yep, Ace of Swords, New Beginning, cutting through the confusion, and with justice here, right? You get back on one accord. Holy Spirit, what is it that Aries couples... Give me one quick second. So a card mixed in here. Holy Spirit, what is it that... Aries couples needs to surrender this week. What do Aries couples need to surrender? What do they need to let go of? What do they need to release this week, Holy Spirit? Aries couples. Surrender the idea that you can fix anyone. And this card came flying out. It flipped right over. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work if you try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. You can't fix someone in this situation. They're accountable for their own healing. Now someone hasn't healed from the past, then it's because of whatever. Circumstances in the relationship or their own choice. Whatever this is. You can't change this person. That's why I was saying control, manipulation. You want this person to be who you want them to be. Mm. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Okay, Creative solutions to solving issues. Right? To solving these triggers. Okay. Something is triggering this um, commotion between the two of you. So finding, like I said, a creative way to resolve this. But also, this is regarding a dream that you have, an aspiration that you have for some of you. Surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow and trying, instead of trying to force the river. So this is, again, talking about trying to fix someone. Stop forcing the issue. For some of you, that may resonate. At the bottom of the deck, just shuffle again, surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Trust yourself to make the right decisions for yourself. You don't have to 
to go based on what everyone else is telling you. Okay, because I'm saying that someone is probably in your ear. Make your own decisions. But you can't change this person. Just like, and vice versa. So with that said, this concludes your weekly reading, Aries Couples. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you know where to find me, angelicascensionstarot.com. The link is below in the description box. Thank you so much for the time that you've taken to watch the video. If you found that this did resonate, hit the like button. All right, don't forget to share, subscribe, comment. <coughs> Excuse me. I will see you next week. Take care, Aries. I wish you guys the absolute best. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.